All right, let's talk about iterators. Iterators are a way to loop through different data structures. You have different data structures inside of the collections framework. And here I have listed some of the collection framework. You have array list, link list, hash set, and tree set. You can see down here that the implementation of each is very different. A tree looks different from a hash table, looks different from a linked list, looks different from an array list. So all of them store data in a different way. But what iterators do is allow you to loop through them or iterate through them in a standardized way. So the first thing that you need to do when using an iterator to import the iterator from the util package. What I've done here is I've created an array list. I've added four different items. And now what I've done is I've created an iterator. Iterators do not start on a value. They start before a value. So you have to think of them as in between values inside of a list. So when you create it, it's not actually on the 15. It's before the 15. And you notice when you say iterator, the name of the object here equals list which is the name of the array list that we're using and then iterator you don't say iterator here equals new iterator and the reason is is because there's different implementations for the different data structures that it can iterate through so each one implements it in its own way a hash set wouldn't implement it the same way an array list would so that's why you have this kind of weird looking method the name of the thing that you're trying to iterate and then the method saying iterate so it's kind of a little different syntax than what you're used to the first method that we're going to talk about is the next method and what next does is it moves the iterator from this position to after the first element in the array list or the first element in the data structure and so what that's going to output is the number before it next is of course going to go after the 22 but then it'll print the preceding data element next we'll do 19 and then next we'll do 99. For this slide, what we're going to show you is again, we created our iterator here. We're going to iterate it once. Notice we didn't do system out print line, so it's not going to output anything. We're going to go next again, so we're after the 22. And then the other method that we're going to talk about is remove. And what remove does, it does not remove the next element, it removes the preceding element, just like next would print the preceding element. When we remove it, it's going to take it out of the array list. And now we have an array list with just three elements in it. What I've done here is I've created an array list with string values, so come as you are. And then I create my iterator. And then what I want to do is here.next, I want to say is equal to the string. So I want cum to be stored in string. But the problem is that is going to result in an error. The reason why that is an error is because iterators store objects, store and return objects. So in order to pull this out and say it really is a string, I would have to class cast it as a string, and then it would be able to store it. And then it would print cum. The better way to do it would be to use a type parameter right here. And the type parameter string indicates that everything in my iterator is going to be a string. That way, any time I try to pull information out of the iterator, it's not going to come out as an object. It's going to come out as what I specify right here. So as you can see, iterators are simple ways to loop through different data structures. And they have some simple methods next going to the next item remove removing the preceding item and also you can see that it's important to use type parameters like this right here when creating your iterator object so it knows what data type you're trying to loop through or what object you're trying to loop through and therefore you won't have to class cast if you ever pull anything out of it